Hello and welcome to Post to Post, the channel where we discuss all things hockey and all teams. We've done the Metro, we've done the Atlantic, now it's time for the Central. This was, of all the divisions, to me, the most difficult to make predictions for. I struggled immensely uh, creating my predictions here, and I'm still not confident with my predictions. I really think things could change in any way, shape, or form with a lot of these teams in this division, mm -hmm. so I am not confident whatsoever in these predictions <laughs> but we're gonna make them anyway sure now like our previous two videos uh you went first would you mind going first to get in this not one? at all okay cool so i'm gonna write down actually i like leading off so you can copy my answers <laughs> well i've already got mine written down so i can't copy no i know all righty so in the central first place this year i have the jets of winnipeg the Jets of Winnipeg. The Look Jets how of Winnipeg. Formal you're getting. They're a superb team. They were superb last year. They came within an inch, I think, of maybe getting some hardware, good hardware, if you know what I mean. The shiny kind. The shiny kind. <laughs> how many points? The kind you can uh, drink beverages out of. Yeah. I'm saying 112 points. 112 points. I think the Winnipeg Jets will be in contention for the President's Cup. Wow. Or the President's Trophy, whatever. Okay. I think so. Yeah. Uh, they're just fantastic. And Hellebuck, if, if he plays as good, they're going to do extremely well. If he plays even just a little bit better, they're going to do amazing. So I agree. I think they're going to be awesome. Yeah. Next, I have the Nashville Predators. Um, they've, they've had some subtractions. They've had uh, Emlyn depart the team. They've had Fisher depart the team, but they've added Ham Hughes. Uh, they've had some movement and they have cap space. They do. They have cap space. So there's always a trading deadline coming up. There's other maneuvers that can be made, but based on their roster as it is, as they begin the season, I think they're going to finish in second place. Mm. Fairly close behind Winnipeg. I have them down for 110. 110. Ooh. I think they're going to be a very, very powerful team. And I agree. It's going to be very close between the two of those teams. All right. Next, I have a bit of a toss up for third place. I have a basically a tie between the St. Louis Blues and the Dallas Stars. How many points? 95. Ooh. 95 for St. Louis and 95 for Dallas. Um, St. Louis has had quite a bit of turnover. Um, the team's changed a lot in the past couple of It really years. has. And I, a lot of it will depend on how well the team gels and the personalities combine up in the dressing room. And, and how, how consistent of goaltending they get. Yeah, yeah, really. That's always been a bit of a question mark mm. uh, for them. So I, I think they'll still be a very competitive team. I think they'll be in every game that they play. I agree. Yeah, they'll, uh, they'll be and, uh, and I think this is the year that Dallas comes back up and becomes I, a contender. I agree. All right. Okay. Um, Minnesota. Shortly behind, uh, with about 93 points, I have the Wild, just a bit of a fade from last year. All right. Uh, not a whole lot. Uh, Colorado, as, much, as well as they did last year and got themselves into the playoffs, I think there's a bit of fluke factor going on there, and a bit of it is just raw Nathan McKinnon stuff that they will have to be able to draw on this mm. year. But I don't think they quite make the playoffs. I, I have them down for 90 points. Ooh. Yeah. All right. They've added Grubauer, so they might be a little more solid as far as goals against. Uh, and the Nail Yakupov experiment proved to be not much worth continuing with, and uh, that might be a good thing, too. He so. did better than I thought he was going to do. He did, but... he did, but not well enough. He certainly still has never come up to his original billing. Yeah. Uh, and that's sometimes uh, prospects just don't. You can ask Alexander Daigle about that. Yeah. Right? <laughs> mm. uh, for those of you younger than... 50. You may not remember who that is. Finally, last place, I have the the weary Chicago Ooh, Blackhawks. Bold. I do. I don't think Chicago is done with their breather yet, and I have them down for 85 points. So you, just, you think they need just a little bit more time? Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, Chris Kunitz there, like they're, they're bringing some, you know, like Ward, they're bringing some players that are I'd say past the, the prime years, they're still able to contribute somewhat, but not unlike some of the other teams that are in a rebuild. They're, they're bringing in some free agents and, and older signees just to keep some talent on the team while they work a lot on their prospects and on their rookies. So, All right. um, and, you know, you've lost Anthony Duclair and you've lost Patrick Sharp. Um, I don't think the new guys really replace that. So I think they're down for 85 points for me, and I think Chicago is going to be golfing in mid-April. All right. Sure. Well, 
Uh, we actually come pretty close. Do we? In our, not All as right. close as our Atlantic, but we did come close. All right. So you had Winnipeg first. Um, I actually had Nashville first. But we had the same points for Nashville. I had 110 points oh, as cool. well. So Okay. Uh, Nashville first. And second, I have Winnipeg with 106. Okay. I don't think they're going to do as good as they did last year. Right. Uh, but they're still going to do really good. Yeah. Uh, and third, I have Dallas with 100. Okay. And I have St. Louis in fourth with 98. So kind of the same thing that yeah. right there, right side by side. Mm-hmm. And fifth, I have Colorado with 98. Oh, wow. Really trying to get in the playoffs again. Yep. I, I think they're going to do exactly what they did last year. Cool. In sixth, I have Chicago with 91. Oh, really? Yep. I think they're going to do a little bit better than people might think. Mm-hmm. And then I, I see Minnesota falling to 88. I don't think Minnesota's going to have a great year. I I think that I think they need to have one semi bad year just to give a little bit of a jump start for that next season. Okay. I think there needs to be a, just a little bit of forced turnover in Minnesota. But anyway, anyway. So well, there. we're pretty close on on a few of these. I don't do we get any of them exactly right? Are they <coughs> exactly Excuse the me. same? Uh, I guess our Dallas and St. Louis are pretty, pretty close. close yeah. Um, but yeah, again, I, I had a really tough time predicting this. I had Chicago down at the bottom. I'm like, no, maybe they, they're not going to do as bad as last year. I'll put them up to like third. And I thought, no, nah, I don't think they're really, I don't really see them getting close to a hundred points. And, and I kind of dropped them back down again. So I really struggled with, with this division and, um, still not confident. So I hope you guys can have fun and do your predictions for the Central down below in the comments. Don't edit it. Make the comment once and just leave it alone. And a year from now, we'll look back and see who was right, see who was wrong, and they can have some bragging rights. So thanks, guys, guys for, for playing along if you do in, in the comment section. And thank you for joining me for this video. Thanks Appreciate for having it. me. Next up is the Pacific, and we will be filming that right after this one, and you'll see it very soon. So, so subscribe if you're not, and uh, click the notification bell down below too so you get notified. Um, so thanks guys hope you're having a good day and we'll catch you in the next one adios